Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to show you Google Classroom questions. This is a wonderful way to use questions as a discussion forum to empower student voice. So let's talk about questions. Uh, they live here under the create button and then you go to question. There is one thing we have to do to make sure that students can reply to each other in any question. And that's to go to our classroom settings right here. We click on that. And then down here under stream, students can post and comment. You have to have that um, or students can comment um, enable. Let's do students can comment. Um, after your, your class discussion, you can always make it more restrictive to only teachers, but we do need to have students be able to comment or post and comment for um, them to comment on each other's answers. So let's hit save. Then we'll go to create. And let's do a question. And so I will ask, uh, what is the most important cause of WW1? And then I'll paste some more specifics down here. Bam. Okay, great. Now, it defaults to short answer. That's what we want. The other option is multiple choice. That's not a class discussion. And Google Forms is so much better and easier. Don't do multiple choice. Just leave it at short answer. Additionally, you're going to have the ability to add classes, differentiate students, point value, just like in a Google Classroom assignment, a due date, and a topic. So let's do a topic of World War I. And students can reply to each other. That's the default. That's the best way to have conversation. Leave that. Students can edit answer is left off by default. So that means that when students answer and see their peers' responses, they can't go back and say, oh, you know, Tom made a really good point. I should just add that to my response. However, it also means that if they have any factual errors or grammatical mistakes, they can't go back and edit those either. Now, one thing I'll say is please get, make your questions multimodal. So give them some things to respond to and to react to. And so you can do this two ways. One is with YouTube videos. So here I'll just share a YouTube video. Click share. This one's about World War I. We click copy. Then we'll just go to our YouTube but button We'll paste that right there, search it, and add the video. But we can also add images, and we can also we can add those images using Drive or Upload. If you use Upload, you can do them from your hard drive or even uh, recent in Google Drive. So we'll just go to Google Drive. I don't have to click Control or Shift. I can add as many as I want. I click Add. Everything looks pretty good to me. Students can, can't can edit their answers. Students can reply to each other. Let me click ask. And by the way, just like in assignments, schedule, save draft, discard a draft as well. So I'll click ask. Now let me go to a student classroom to see the student perspective of this question. And so it's right there. What is the most important cause of World War I? And right here, just on this screen, before I even click view question, I can watch the YouTube video. I can click through the images that the teacher has attached. Thank you, teacher. And then I can click on view question. I can click uh, type of response. Now I'm gonna do a really bad one. I'm just gonna do the word response, just to demo. I'll click turn in. Now let's go to a classmate and see what they see. Here's the classmate. Let's click on the question. Again, I have all this. Let me click view question. And here I'll just say uh, militarism. Unfortunately, I'm not adding any evidence or examples. My bad, but we'll click turn in. And now it says see classmate answer. So I'll click on that. And I see my own here and I can reply to my own, although th that might happen if we get into a conversation. But I can also reply to this one and I can you know, say what I want to say. What that means is it encourages discourse and dialogue. Now, as the teacher, let's go back to the teacher screen. So as a teacher, now I see that two have turned it in, three haven't. I click on the two that have and I can respond as well. And I can give a grade here as well and, uh, you know, return it to them. Um, but I can add, you know, let me uncheck that. And I can add a uh, comment to them as well, which is really nice. So it's really nice for discourse, for student voice, for conversation. Um, and like I said, please add your YouTube videos and your images 
to make them multimodal. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.